Hey guys, I'm JD Ross and today I'm going to teach you how to do cloud sync between your games from Steam Deck and your games from Windows. Now this cloud sync will not be as convenient as the cloud sync from Steam, but it will be more convenient than having to transfer your saves from your Steam Deck to Windows and then back. It will be inconvenient to do that every day for every game. So if you want cloud sync, this video is for you. For the first step, we need to download Mega. Go to any browser, search for Mega NZ, click on the first link, click on platforms, desktop app, and then click download for Windows. Now just download that and then install it. I'm not gonna install it, I'm sure you know how to install a Windows app. Now the first time you run Mega, it's going to ask you to log in, but me, I'm already logged in. The second step is we need to find the saved game of the game that we are trying to cloud sync. For this video, I'm going to cloud sync my saved game of Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. If you don't know where the save file is, you could just go to Google and search for it. Uh, Spider-Man Remastered Save Game Location and most of the time the answer will be right on the top so let's go to documents and then scroll down to marvel spider-man remastered and there's the save file well to be specific that's the save folder that contains your save file click on mega it should be on your system tray click this button which is called add sync on the local folder click select and it should be your games save folder, which is this one. For the mega folder, it's your cloud drive. Now I have a folder called save games, which where I save all my save games. Double click on it and click new folder. I'm going to name it Spider-Man Remastered and click OK. There we go. Now select that folder and click OK and then add now this thing might not appear on you but just in case it appears on you name it something else I'm just gonna name it Spider-Man Remastered 1 okay for just for the sake of the tutorial the reason it appeared in my case is because I've already tried syncing now to check if your files have been synced go into the folder and if there's a check logo on the files it's synced if you want to double check you could click here go to your cloud drive open save games and there's my files and we can now transfer to the steam deck on the steam deck go to the discover store search for mega and then install the first one which is called mega sync after installing that run it just like on windows it will appear at the bottom i'm gonna have to log in first after logging in let's go to settings i'm going to show you something this option launch at login does not work even if you check that when you go back to settings it will be unchecked so if you want mega to run as you turn on this desktop mode you're gonna have to go to uh, auto start and then add mega here just click add add application and then type mega okay and it should be here now every time you go to desktop mode, Megasync will start by itself and it will sync your save files. That's This is only useful for people who mostly use desktop mode and for people that are not on Steam Deck but just on a Linux PC. Okay, let's sync the game files. Now my saved game for uh, Spider-Man is inside my prefix folder for Spider-Man which is here, Spidey, Drive C, Users, Deck. Um, documents and there's my save game now to sync this we're gonna click here just like on Windows it's the same process if you open this you might only see mega folders like this three folder if that's the case you're gonna have to close this for a second close mega okay and search for flat seal if you don't have flat seal, go download it from the Discover store and then run flat seal, go to mega sync. 
on file system check all user files and then now you can run megasync again from then on all files on your uh, steam Deck's ssd will appear on mega now i can access my save game which is on games oh sorry my bad it's on my prefixes folder spidey drive c users deck um, documents and that's the one mega folder you're gonna have to choose the same folder which is spider-man remastered and then add now it says it's up to date which means the files have been synchronized now let's say you have a progress on your windows pc and your steam deck you might be wondering which one will overwrite the other whichever is the latest modified save file is going to overwrite the older one which means if the last time you played the game was on the steam deck it will replace your save file on your windows pc by the way, on Windows, when you add a game for Cloud Sync, it might be added on your left side of your file explorer. And if you have too many games, it will fill up the left side. If you don't want that to happen, just right click on it and then remove from left pane. Also make sure to turn on the long shot login on Windows. It should be enabled by default, but just in case, make sure to check. Now let's go back to Steam Deck. How do we run this on game mode? Search for Mega. Right click on it and then add to steam now here's the catch uh, mega does not run automatically when in game mode i'm gonna show you what happens when you do mega sync does not run automatically here which means if you play your save files will not be synced automatically so when you turn on your steam deck you have to go to mega sync click play the UI of the Mega Sync will never appear. It will just stay like this. And that's okay. You have two options on how to use Mega Sync. The first one is when you turn on your Steam Deck, run Mega Sync for a minute or two. Let it sync your files. If your internet is fast, it shouldn't take long. Sometimes it takes like 30 seconds and that's it. And then you can you can exit Mega Sync. If you want to run Mega Sync while you are playing, that's also fine. But there's going to be a quirk on that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to run Spider-Man. Notice that I still have Mega Sync running, which means any changes that I do in Spider-Man will be synced to the cloud drive. Now here's the quirk. Whenever you exit the game, it will not exit. Well, not all the time, but let's see. See? It did not exit it will stay like that so don't do that when you have megasync running in the background don't do that so what's gonna happen is you can't exit both megasync and the game you have to do this you have to go to view game details click x and confirm you might have to do it twice sometimes and now the game is off now the problem with this is megasync might not, might not be syncing at this point you're gonna have to restart your steam deck do not use this don't use exit game here also don't use the quit button from in the game it's also not gonna work for me i'm just gonna run mega sync in the background to be honest it does not appear to affect the performance of the games so i i could just leave this in the background let it sync my save files whenever now i'm going to show you that it's actually syncing we're gonna switch to my iphone so i could show you both my steam deck and my windows pc so we are now on my iPhone. By the way, I restarted the Steam Deck because like I said, when you run Megasync in the background and then you close the game using the exit game button after playing the Steam button, Megasync will bug out. So don't do that. If you do that, just restart the Steam Deck, run Megasync, and then run the game that you want to run. Oh, by the way, what you're looking at here oh see i launched the i launched the game and it updated it, it it's updating the save slot the auto save slot right now <laughs> so that that was an unexpected uh sync that i was i wasn't trying to show but it, it showed see it's almost real time but sometimes it's not real time it takes 30 seconds or something that depends on your internet or the game really I'm going to make a manual save and see how fast the new save file will appear on Windows. We have four save files here. Sorry, I I just noticed that it starts counting at zero. So there's actually five save files. 
5 save files and the 6 save file should appear. Let's see how long. You save. There we go. See? I did not cut the video. That's how fast it is. It's not real time. It took up like 3 to 5 seconds but it synced. Now, always remember this. I've been saying this all throughout the video. Do not use the quit. Well, this quit is okay because this quit button of Spider-Man is going to the main menu. But do not quit the game from within the game while Megasync is running in the background. Only exit from here. Okay? Now, if you are annoyed that you have to do that and it's inconvenient for you, never run Megasync along with the game. Make sure to turn on your Steam Deck, run Megasync after syncing, close the Megasync. And then now you can play the game. After playing the game, close the game, run Megasync again to sync your game files to the Windows. Or only run Megasync whenever you want to sync your save files. Let's say the whole day you're only playing on Steam Deck. And then when you get home, that's the only time you open Megasync. Because that's the only time you will switch to your Windows PC. That's also a possibility for a convenient use of Megasync. Because you don't you don't have to use to do this every time. And you don't also don't have to run Megasync every time. So that's it. If you have any questions, just comment it down below. I will try to answer it. Or you could also join our Discord, which is linked in the description. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.